Hey kids! It's great to see you all. Let's look at the nature's amazing bird's nest. This video would really astonish you. Did you know that weaver birds can tie real knots? Like humans? This nest is made of thousands of grass strips woven by this little craftsman. Can you imagine this? Just by using its beak and feet. This finely woven bag hangs at the tip of this branch. The weaver birds have chosen this location because this is safe and keeps the predators away. Even this makes the snakes difficult to reach near the nest as it may fall down while climbing a thin branch. They use fine leaf fibers, grass strips and twigs to build their intricately designed waterproof nests. Did you know that these birds are the nature's engineering marvels? Without a degree of engineering, from any university? In the construction of buildings, engineers consider the property of different building materials and how they can withstand compression, pressure and tension. Called as the tensile strength. Well, these birds are also talented construction engineers. They also know instinctively which materials to use. So the well-designed nest helps the birds to protect them from gust of wind or rain. The nest has two chambers, one for the parents, and other for to lay eggs. The nest of a weaver bird often has a narrow tube-like entrance that opens upside down. It is hard for a predator to get inside the nest. Only male birds are involved in building the nest and it takes around 18 days to complete the nest. The bear weaver birds use clay to bind the interior of the woven nests. This acts as a shield to keep the birds warm inside in winter and also away from heat of sun. Have you seen the largest nests on the planet? This massive gigantic looking nests are constructed by the sociable weaver birds. This single apartment can accommodate around 400 birds that live in colonies. These birds work on the nest all the year that even spans over generations. The birds use twigs, straw grass and haystack as raw materials for their well-built complex structure. Can you believe this? An island built by a bird. Yes, horned coot birds build a remarkable floating nests, which are located 40 meters away from the shore in the lakes. First, they gather the stones to form an island that reaches the water surface. When this mound is completed, they collect small vegetation like cattails, reeds and algae to cover the top of stone bed. This makes the chicks feel cozy. Both male and female birds build the nests. It takes several months to complete the nest. After about four weeks of hatching, the chicks are able to dive and can feed themselves. But, both parents will continue to feed them for up to two months. Their nests are not easily reached by land predators, as it is middle of the lake. But their main predators are other birds, such as crows, great horned owls, gulls, and eagles. The coot sometimes lays eggs in other coot's nests. This is because of unfavorable environment conditions, or if there is food shortage, or if the nests are destroyed. Grebe birds' nests are also similar to coot's nests. They too build nests that look like a floating platforms of aquatic vegetation in middle of the lakes. Grebe use sticks and water weeds anchored to a submerged branch or reeds. Both male and female birds are involved in building the nests. Parent birds will ingest their own feathers, and even feed feathers to their chicks. This would aid their digestion. After hatching, the chicks climb on parents' back and head to open water, until they learn to dive and swim. Well, you may know, hummingbirds are the tiny delicate birds, but... Did you know about their... Remarkable nest building skills. Hummingbirds use wide variety of materials in the construction of their tiny small bowl shaped nests. 
including mosses, plant fibers, dandelion flowers, cattails, small bits of cotton, lichens and feathers, all bound together with the sticky, flexible silk from spider webs. Only female birds do all this work, building this soft perfect nests. The silk from spider's web makes the nest flexible to stretch from inside the cup as the hummingbird eggs hatches and the babies grows. The lichens and mosses that is decorated around the nests makes it look like a tree, thus helps to keep predators away. The little skillful architects build their nests in forked branch of a tree, on top of small pipes, ceilings and even in gardens. We could say anywhere, where it finds a sheltered and safe location. Rufus Hornero or known as the Red Oven Birds are the nature's greatest sculptors. Have you ever made sculptures out of mud or clay? This fascinating mud nest, that look like a oven, or a dome-shaped structure, is built by this little fine artist. Both male and female birds, together build the nests. Red clay mixed with vegetation, are the materials required for, crafting this remarkable home. It takes around two to three months to complete the nest. It makes the nest in any suitable place like trees, telephone pole, high wall. The mud house acts as an insulator, in both winter and summer seasons. Inside this clay baker's oven structure, there is remarkable, curved wall, that would divide the nest into two chambers. One acts as an entrance hall, and other chamber is used for laying eggs. Sometimes, abandoned or unused hornero nests, are used by various other species of birds. The saffron finch, is one species that commonly nests in old oven bird nests. Barn swallows, also build nests that are similar to, the nests of Rufus Hornero. That is, made out of mud mixed with vegetation. Well, this construction, takes a lot of effort, requiring an average of 1,300 trips, to gather thousands of pellets of, sand and clay. Both male and female birds are involved in building the nests. These birds, reuse nests year after year. The barn swallows can be found in, open woodlands, meadows and grasslands. This bird also build its nest in man-made buildings, gardens and parks. This marvelous nests that look like a, hanging bag, are crafted by this little architect, Oliver Sunbird. They use leaves, plant fibers and spider web, to craft their, elastic purse-shaped nests. The female birds, construct the nests, and makes an average of 200 to 220 trips, to gather the raw materials. The interior of the nests, are softened with feathers, human litter like paper and lightweight plastic. It takes around 5 to 10 days to complete the nest and both male and female birds feed their young ones. Did you know that, stork birds nests, last for centuries? Yes. Stork use the same nests year after year, when return from migration. They just had new sticks and branches and line with grasses, sod, rags, and paper to extend the structure further. Both male and female birds are involved in building the nests. Did you know that tailor birds can create, beautiful home with leaves? These little tailors can sow the leaves. Their beak, acts as a needle here. The male bird does the magic. It pierces holes in leaves and then pass the fiber of plants as threads and outcome is a marvelous leaf bag to breed their young ones. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.